<clears throat> hey there, Alex here. Let's disentangle a misunderstood aspect that keeps many apparent seekers spinning in circles. The illusion of effort to awaken. The realization of awakening or liberation often seems like it requires tremendous effort. Meditation, inquiry, journaling, attending retreats, the list goes on. But what if I told you the very notion of effort is part of the illusion you're trying to see through? Let's look at this closely, keeping in mind that simplicity is the key here. Your mind might resist, but stay with me here. This message might be infuriating to a seeker who's absolutely convinced that awakening is at the end of a big, long process, but it's actually the falling away of identification to the one that thinks peace is at the end of a process. So the peace of what already is, is clearly revealed. Imagine you're trying to relax. The more you try, the tension increases. You realize maybe paradoxically that relaxation happens when you stop trying. Now apply this to awakening. We think we need to do something, an action to awaken. But awakening is realizing your already present true nature, which is beyond doing and not doing. It simply is. The revelation is instant. It can happen at any moment, in any circumstance. The embodiment of it happens in time. Non-duality is awakening to timelessness, and timelessness appears as time, a period in which the neuroses of a separate me start to unwind, and old emotional contractions held in the body start to drop out. Just look at your daily life. Everything seems to revolve around tasks and achieving goals. This mindset seeps into what we perceive to be our spiritual journey, transforming awakening into yet another project. But how can you achieve what you already are? The very effort to become something else reinforces the illusion of being separate from your true nature. You already are your true nature. And action is still relevant. However, with awakening, these actions occur spontaneously and automatically within this space of being. Effort might be used in terms of increasing focused energy expenditure or applying more physical force to achieve a specific practical goal, yet it is seen that all of it unfolds within effortless beingness. Now, this isn't to say practices like meditation or inquiry aren't valuable. They are, but not for the reasons you might think. They don't bring you closer to awakening, because how can you get closer to something that you already are? Instead, practices like meditation can help calm and stabilize the body and mind, leading to a higher frequency experience. Self-inquiry starts to show the discontinuity and illusory nature of the separate self. But ultimately, awakening is the revelation that no processes can lead to awakening, and there was no awakening anyway. The illusion of being a person that could do something to awaken collapses into beingness. Effort implies a future state better than this one, a state where you are finally awakened. This very thought maintains the illusion of time, of past and future, obscuring the timeless truth of your being. When you see through the illusion of effort, what remains is what has always been here, your true nature, effortlessly present. When the recognition dawns that awakening lies beyond effort, life transforms. Actions still happen, life goes on, but they stem from a recognition of effortlessness. They are spontaneous arisings for no one apart from pure being. You act not to achieve something in the future, but as an expression of the completeness that you already are right now. It's like the sun. It doesn't try to shine. It shines because that's what it is. Your true nature doesn't become present through effort. 
is effortlessly present, illuminating your experience, including the dance of apparent effort. So I invite you to look at this in your own experience. If there's a seeker trying to find permanent peace in a particular achievement, notice when the sense of effort arises in your apparent quest. Ask yourself, who is the one that feels like they need to make an effort? Look directly at this apparent sense of me that needs to awaken, improve or achieve. You might just find that this me is a bundle of thoughts and sensations appearing in the vastness of this, your true nature, which is already awake, always already at peace, the peace that passeth all understanding. Dropping the belief in effort doesn't lead to passivity or inaction. Instead, it opens up a space where life flows unimpeded by the narrow confines of personal identity. Actions happen, life unfolds, but it's recognised as a spontaneous play of consciousness rather than the struggle of a separate self trying to awaken or trying to find lasting peace and happiness in a specific object or achievement. Remember, awakening isn't about reaching a destination. It's about the recognition of what's always been. It's in seeing the inherent effortlessness of your true nature. Effortless beingness. Effortless being. Peace.